Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to use the Camsys Magic Q PC. Alright, first I'm going to show you how to uh, go ahead and patch your fixtures. So over here on the right hand side, on the top right, you'll see a bunch of different options with setup and patch and macro and all that. So we're just going to click on patch, I'm going to say choose head. And then I have two Blizzard Flurry EXAs, so I'll click on Blizzard and I hear Flurry EXA. And then I'm going to say patch it, and then right here it asks for the number of heads and the channel. So if you're using a specific channel, you go ahead and put two at whatever channel. But for our purposes, we're just gonna say two and then we hit enter. And we just hit yes. And then we'll have our two for EXAs patched right there. So next I also have two Technolux Ultralux 7s that we'll be using in this uh, tutorial. So we'll go all the way down to Technolux. There they are, and the Ultra Lux 7s, and do the same thing. So now we're just going to go ahead and hit the uh, number of fixtures we want and hit enter. And then right here is all the list of the DMX channels, and then we'll just go ahead and address the channels on the fixtures, and then we're good to start programming. All right, now that we have all the fixtures patched, I'm going to go ahead and go over the basic operations. So the easiest way um, to get to where we can use the lights and put them into our program is we go down here to Layout 1. And you'll see that it automatically put it into different groups. So you can do the Flurry EXA, the Ultra Lux 6, and the dimmer channel we did in for the demo purpose. Um, that was, so it automatically puts it in groups based on the fixture. You can also create your own groups um, to better fit how your show will run, or you can also view the individual heads. All right, now I'm going to go over some of the basic operations um, of the fixtures. So you have your different um, group settings up here. You have your Flurry EXA, your Ultralux 6, and your demo, Dimmer that we throw on just for the demonstration. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do another view so you can do the view head so you can individually view each uh, fixture um, or you can view it as a group right here so let's go ahead and we're just going to select one light and we're going to just bring the intensity up just a bit all right and you can also tell that we can do the same thing with the fixture here then we can also control everything along the same route. There we go. Put it all right to 100, and we'll just dim it back down where we want. And we'll... There we go. Okay. Now we're going to show you how to uh, move um, the moving headlights around. POS down at the bottom, which is the position. And as you notice, it highlighted the position box in the palette. Uh, but for right now, we'll just uh, let's go ahead and just grab one light and go to the positions. And right here, on we have the tilt and the pan. So we'll just go ahead and just move that individually. Just move the tilt to wherever I need it to go to match what I need. And I'll just say right there. And we'll do the same thing with the second light, just so that's kind of matched up. Tilt. And the pan right there. So now I'm going to show you where you can find the stroking. 
So under the beam effect, you have your strobe, and there's this auto and sound activation. So let's just go ahead and turn the strobe up. And we got our strobe. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up down below. Also, please subscribe to get more content.